Hello YouTube, good to see me again. <laughs> Tomorrow will be officially one week since I went in and had my 25 extractions and my immediate dentures put in. I have been eating some solid foods, although my gums are not quite healed yet, simply because of the fact that I had 25 extractions and the jaw bones shaved and the gums all stitched back together and stuff and had the immediates put in. Now, uh, the biggest issue I'm having is because the gums are not quite healed yet, when I try to eat something, I have to eat something very, very small. You would it would have to be a child sized bite and when you're learning to chew you chew straight up and down you don't like this like you used to you straight up and down straight up and down the biggest problem I'm having right now is my bottom denture wanting to flop out on me when I'm talking the uh, muscle under the tongue wants to push that out it's a foreign it's a foreign object and it wants to push that out other than, other than that I don't believe I'm having too many issues that other people aren't having aside the fact that I'm eating chicken and pork chops and things like that and when you first, if, if you start eating the second or third day like I did, because I have this mental issue, I have to have sustenance. I cannot live on a liquid diet. So if you start eating solid food the first few days like I did, when you first start chewing on food, it's going to feel like you're chewing on glass I mean literally chewing on glass the gums are going to fucking hurt doesn't matter what you say or what you do the gums are gonna fucking hurt and after a few bites if you're just chewing on the one side now a lot of people out there say you've got to separate the food in your mouth and you got to chew on both sides at the same time and I found that not to be true. I can chew on just the one side of my mouth. But what you don't want to do is put the food all the way back in the back of your mouth. You want to keep it right about there. Okay? Right where the molars start. That's where you keep the food. And that'll keep your denture from twisting and flopping around on you when you're chewing. And uh, the very, very back ones, they're probably not much good for anything except for, you know, to feel with your tongue. Because where you're going to chew is right there and right there. Just past your lip line. Right where the molars start that's where you're going to want to chew that's the strongest part of your to your jaw and the strongest part of your denture you'll notice in all my other videos I couldn't do a video without holding a cigarette or smoking a cigarette I made a promise to myself years ago that if I could ever get rid of the rotten shit out of my mouth and get my dentures that I was not going to ruin those dentures or my fresh breath or my health anymore with cigarettes and I've smoked about a dozen cigarettes in the past week but it's not like I have to have them all the time anymore because I'm determined not to smoke anymore and then when I, I realize that when I do smoke a cigarette now, 
it still tastes the same. The cigarette still tastes the same, but it affects my brain differently. Um, if I can explain that, it's because with all the poison in my system from my rotten fucking teeth, I think my brain was slightly poisoned as well. And the reason I smoked mainly, you know, obviously I enjoyed it at some point, but the reason I continued to smoke um, was because every time I quit smoking, I could taste the rot in my mouth. Smoke will quell that taste. You don't taste the rotten teeth in your mouth if you're smoking. So I continued to smoke. Um, with the amount of pain that I have endured in the past week, and I don't care what anybody tells you, it fucking hurts to have 25 extractions done and have your immediate dentures put in. Especially when they can't put you to sleep and you sit in that chair wide awake and when you come home the Novocaine wears off. The most excruciating pain I've ever felt in my life. Now, most people get put under while they're doing the surgery and stuff, and when they come home, they're still affected by the anesthesia, and they go right to sleep, and they sleep it off the, the entire day and the following night. And, and when they get up the following morning, they have some discomfort and some pain, but really not that bad. But when you have to experience all that pain because you weren't under anesthesia, and you have a heart condition and you can't take any pain pills it's been brutal I mean it has literally been brutal up until today this is day six tomorrow will be officially day seven uh, one one exact exactly one week to the day since I had my immediates put in Learning how to talk with the dentures is not that difficult. The biggest thing you have to remember is to keep your tongue. Just touch the tip of your tongue to your bottom teeth. When you start to talk. Make sure the tip of your tongue stays touching your bottom teeth. Uh, you know, unless you're pronouncing certain words and you need to use your tongue. But as soon as you're done... Uh, every time you're done using your tongue for a word, make sure it's touching your bottom teeth. The reason for that is, is because you have to retrain your tongue not to get under your bottom denture and it push it out. Because it's a foreign object in there, your tongue wants to, you know, get under it and force it out. It doesn't want it in there. So that'll take some getting used to. That's the biggest thing as far as talking goes. Um, I learned that trick the first day. Just keep your tongue laid on your bottom denture right against your teeth, your the front of your teeth, or right against your front teeth on the bottom denture, and that'll keep you from pushing that denture out every time you try to talk or say something. And also keep it there when you take a drink. Because when you're drinking... If you allow your tongue to go to the bottom of your mouth, when you swallow, your tongue fattens up to swallow and it'll push that denture out. Keep the bottom, keep your tongue against the bottom of those teeth when you're drinking. It'll, it will really, really help. Trust me. These are just little tricks I've learned in the past week. Tomorrow I go in, I'm not sure if they're going to take out the stitches or if they're just going to do a quick alignment and then wait another week to take out the stitches. It will, detent, it will depend on how well I'm healing. I believe I'm healing rather well. The doctor said the last time he seen me that I'm healing extremely fast. The top denture is seated really well. The bottom denture, you will get sores. I don't care what they tell anybody says, you're going to get sores. Your jaw is going to hurt. 
not just the jawbone where the denture's sitting, your entire jaw is going to hurt. First of all, because every muscle in your jaw is down here, including your tongue. You have to retrain your tongue, which is going to make the muscles sore. You have to retrain your bottom jaw, which is going to make the muscles sore. You have to learn how to talk completely over again, which is, makes the muscles sore. Plus, you have a plate sitting on that bottom jaw bone, putting pressure on it. And it comes all the way in the front here. And you have to learn how to hold your lip just right. This part of your lip down here, not this up here, but this muscle down here. You have to learn to press against that all the time, even when you're talking. Which makes your jaw sore. So all those different muscles down here. Every muscle will be sore for a while. And like I said, it's only been, tomorrow is officially one week. So, I would suggest anybody out there that has this done, do not try to eat solid food right away. Um, what's really good is like mashed potatoes. Um, you can put, uh, you know, those little soft bacon bits in the mashed potatoes something you don't have to chew because I will tell you that as stubborn as I am and I I have to eat solid food I cannot it's a psychological mind fuck for me because before I got my teeth pulled I could eat I had no problem eating now, granted, I wasn't eating steak and lobster, but, you know, fucking bologna and hot dogs, at least. It was sustenance, and it was meat. And, and I was able to chew things up. So, for me, it's the issue of, you know, it's a mental screw, because I got all these teeth in my mouth now, and I can't fucking eat. And... To be honest, that's why most people end up taking them out and throwing them down and because they can eat without them because it doesn't hurt quite as bad. And they end up taking them out and leaving them out and then they won't ever put them back in because it hurts too bad to wear them. You've got to suffer through the pain. You've got to get through it the first week or two and then after that things will start to, to feel better. You'll start to be able to eat better. Um... I had a friend that went through this whole procedure, same thing, he had 20 teeth removed and had his immediates put in, and I watched him go through the entire procedure, and within two months, he was eating potato chips and things of that nature, he was still, he was still struggling trying to figure out how to bite through a hamburger or a sandwich without making a fucking mess, or without his bottom denture flopping out on him, and that took a process, but within the third month, he was eating Subway sandwiches and pizza and and pretty much eating anything you can eat and doing it with style, like it was no big deal. So, you know, like he'd had those teeth his entire life. So it is a training process on your jaw and your tongue, but if you start taking your teeth out because it hurts or because they're uncomfortable, you're not going to want to put them back in. I take my bottom one out because I've got a lot of sores on the bottom. And I take it out for an hour at a time. And I wash it and I rinse my mouth out with salt water. And I time myself for exactly an hour. And then I put it back in no matter how bad it hurts. The reason I do that is because it is so comfortable not having it in my mouth. It feels so good not to have it in there that I want to leave it out. I have to force myself to put it back in. And then at the same time, I, I, I understand that if I don't put it back in, I'm going to end up gumming my food and looking like all the other idiots out there that went and had all this done and don't wear their teeth. And don't use their teeth. 
So, I'm not going to be one of those people. I don't want my chin touching my nose every time I take a bite out of a hamburger or chew something up. Anyway. Tomorrow is officially my full week with my dentures. I'm going to wait another week before I post another video. I've already showed you that I was eating solid food. Um, you know, not as solid as, that I, as I'd like. I'd love to be able to eat radishes and carrots and crackers and potato chips and everything else. But, and that's coming in time. Right now, I would say anybody that's going to have this done, be prepared for at least a week of discomfort and pain maybe two I won't know until you know I go through another week but they do get more comfortable every day they get a little bit more comfortable every single day and that's what I look forward to so I hope this helps if anybody else out there has any questions or issues you know that I can help with and like I said this is only my first week with dentures but I'm learning fast if you have any suggestions please feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you.